Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to another Smash Bros. moveset tier list. Today I'm going to be going over Ken, the Echo Fighter of Ryu. Yes, I am doing both of them separately just because they play much differently and they have enough differences to be considered separate characters, I guess, in the community that is, but... Um... So yeah, I recommend you watch the um, Ryu tier list if you want kind of an idea on how this character plays, and also because they share a lot of moves, I may not, um, I may not repeat everything I said, but I'll still do my best to kind of give a brief explanation as to what each move does. So, so yeah, just like Ryu, he does have um, special input, special. Um, um, certain special attacks that are exclusive to each other, and they have heavy and light attacks, and um, the auto turnaround whenever and whichever enemy you're facing, your character will turn that way. So, if that made any sense, so um, I think that's all. I think that's all I gotta say for that section so shout out to husk for making this tier list um ignore all this crap down here and um i'll just go over the moves that are important to this list so anyways um i guess i'll just get started i'm not gonna go over the tiers because we have a lot to go over and my last video was pretty long so i'll try to be quicker this time hopefully um and once again, I'm not very familiar with this character, so you can always correct me down in the comments. But starting with Jag, um, same thing as Reuse, you can auto cancel it into a special into a special move. So nothing more to say about that. Um, next we got um, Proximity Jab, I think Heavy Jab up close. Um, I honestly cannot tell because it's not. Um, maybe I can check here. Hold on. Let's go to inspect and look at it. Um, yeah, proximity jab. Okay, so, so this is good for, I guess, setting up into stuff. So, um, so I'm gonna put that there. Um, yeah, that's right. That's actually your main, um, main kill confirm for later percentages. Proximity jab into... Um, into Shuriken, so that's going to be your main kill confirm at late percentages. Um, next, you got the far um, heavy jab, which is I think it's like a double kick. So, so this is actually good for breaking shields, and it's actually I think it's actually better than um, <clears throat> than Ryu's F tilt since it's faster. So I'll actually rank it in strong this time, and it can be good for. For combo extensions. Next we got. Um, I think light F tilt. Let me have a look here. Oh no. It's proximity F tilt. So this is the. Um, I think it's this one. Let me check. Come on. Show it. I yeah I believe it's that. So. Um, honestly I don't know what this does. I think this is good for. For like shield stun, I, I again I'm uh, for just like for, just like in reuse tier list. I don't know what some of these moves do, just because he has so many moves and so many variations. It's gonna be hard to kind of keep up with with I guess his moves in general. So I don't know. I think this is good for like combo extensions. Ken is a very com is a much more combo heavy character than Ryu, where he's more like a setups, um, zoning, stage control character. This is more like a rushdown, up close and personal type of character. So I imagine this it's good for that. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Uh, far F tilt, I believe. Um, let me check here. I believe that's yeah, this one. Um. It has leg intangibility, so I guess it can be good for um, for keeping opponents away. So I suppose I'll just put it in average. Uh, not nothing special. 
And then this one, I think it's good for combos. Um, I think it's like the faster one. So it would be... Hold on, let me check. Because I feel like I've gotten some of these flipped around. So, okay, yeah, this is the heavy one. So... Um, again, I have no idea. So I'm just going to put it right here in average. So... Just like in reuse, the ones, the moves that I don't have a clue on what you do, I'll just put it in average because it'd be unfair to overrate them or underrate them based on, you know, just because I lack the knowledge of it. So, um, if you can give like a brief explanation of what you move, what what these moves do in the comments below, then feel free to. So down tilt and heavy down tilt are both gonna be at the top. Of the tier, so I think I put um. Did I put um, reuse down to it up here or heavy down to it up there? I don't remember. But I know I put the the light one in the busted tier, so I'm gonna do that just for consistency and also because it is still a very good move since it can lead into a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna put it in the busted tier. Um. So light up tilt, same thing as I mentioned in my Ryu tier list. Um, down tilt you want to use for, you know, for any character use down tilt, and for bigger and larger characters use up tilt or light, or sorry, the light variation, just so you can deal a lot of damage and have it lead into other stuff. So, and then heavy up tilt, I think it still has the upper body. Yeah, it still has the upper body intangibility. So. Same thing as I said for reuse, great for anti airs and you know, great for nullifying approaches. And then dash attack, I believe I put it here in the niche tier. This time I think I'm gonna put it in average just because Ken does have um faster movement speed and it can actually be somewhat of a of a combo extender, combo ender after like a Tatsu or a down tilt, so so this time I'll put it in average. And now I want to smash attack. So so the main difference in their smash attacks, or I guess in this forward smash, is that it's actually... Um, Ken actually has a faster forward smash, but it's also, it's also a bit weaker and has less range. But this means it's actually better for, for combo enders, especially if you don't know how to do the inputs. You can do an F smash instead, so. Uh, let me just have a look at the frame data. Yeah, it's 13 frames, which I. Um, so I, I think that makes it a little bit faster. Um, still not great, but definitely average, so I'll just put it in the bottom of average because there's still better moves you can follow up with. So next we got down smash. Once again, you can carry cancel just like. Just like in reuse, um, just like reuse down smash, you can cover cancel into any special move. So ideally, you can do um, Tatsumaki, or you can do what a Hadouken. So very good move. Um, and then we got up smash. So honestly, I don't know what this move does. Still, I think. Um, yeah, it's it's exactly the same as Ryu, so I'm just gonna put it in bad because I still don't got a clue what it does, and I I, I still believe it's outclassed by up till in every way. And then before moving on to the arrows, he actually does have two special, um, two very exclusive grounded moves that you can input. So so we got roundhouse hit, roundhouse kick, and in order to input that, you wanna. The same input as Shotgun Into, which is a half circle. So starting from the left to the right side of your joystick. So if you can see my mouth, it's something like that. So that's how you do the roundhouse kick. And I think I forgot to mention the Shotgun Into, but it's basically the same thing. You do a half circle going left, down, and then right. So, Or if you're facing the other direction, that would be the opposite. But... Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to put this one in the busted tier just because it is great for combo extensions. And since it's technically a special move, you can cancel any grounded move into it. Or at least any grounded move that you're able to cancel into. So, 
Great move. Same with um, Crescent Kick, I believe. So in order to do a Crescent Kick, I think it's something like this. So, so you're facing right, so um, the input would be a, a quarter circle from the right going down. So something like that. Um, hopefully you got that. And same thing as Roundhouse Kick. You can use it for for combo extensions, and I think it's also great at breaking shields. Same with, um, uh, what was it? Heavy, um, heavy long or long range heavy jab, I believe, is also great for shield breaks. Something I <laughs> didn't mention, but, but yeah, these will ideally be your best, um, moves for combo extensions. And I believe I can. Let's see here. Um, not sure if it'll tell me the frame data, but it should be pretty quick to. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. You can also hold down your roundhouse kick in order to do like a secondary um, combo. So that can be great for once again combo extensions and even shield breaks. So use it when you can. Um, and then we got this as well, which I think does the same thing. So, yeah, very, very good move. And only Ken can do that. So, and since only Ken can do that, that means he doesn't have Shaka Mitsu, which Ryu does have that. So, very cool move. Now on to his aerial. So, um, honestly, I, same thing for Ryu, I think. Um... Nair, forward air, and oh, what's the other one? I think back air are going to be in the same spot just because they pretty much do the same thing. They start combos and, you know, they don't really kill. They only just, they only help you set up into, into your kill confirm, so, or into any grounded combo. So I'm going to leave them there in average. Um, down air, same thing. It's still a very strong aerial, so I'll put it at the top of strong and then, up air, um, it, there is a difference between Ken and Ryu's up air, whereas, you know, Ryu has a two-hit combo, but Ken is only a one-hit, so do keep that in mind, but it's still very good for for setting up into, into Shoryuken, so do use it wisely when you get the chance. Um... So now to a special move, so this person actually forgot to put Shoryuken, which is a bit annoying because he included like the variations of Tatsu and whatever the hell this is, what what even is that? Some kind of inside joke between him and his friends? I don't know, but this person forgot to put Shoryuken, so just keep in mind that Shoryuken is going to be in the strong tier and the way to input it is like a Z motion, so... Something like that. Kind of like Ryu's up B. So actually all the inputs are the same. Regardless on who you play. So Hadouken is still going to be. Um, um, half circle. Starting from the bottom to the right. Side of your jelly stick. So. So I'm actually going to put Hadouken. In the niche tier. Just because it is actually far weaker than. Then reuse, and you can only do a normal Hadouken. You can do like a light, heavy, medium input, but like I said, they're only good for combo and there's, I guess, dealing damage, and that's it. So it's still usable, but just not only only good for like early percentage combos or or in distances where you wouldn't be able to hit opponents. So. Uh, next, we got Tatsumaki. In order to input that, you just do half circle starting from the bottom going to the left. So that is how you do it. And it actually works differently from reviews because instead of like a one hit, stronger hit, it actually does multiple hits, but they're actually weaker. So that means you can use it for combos and, and mix ups. So, um,. I, I feel like it relies a lot, like, it can depend, the power can depend based on your, how much rage you have, or how much percentage they have, so you may have to, like, take some time and, and memorize 
the angles or how like how long you want to hold it for or I don't know, it, it basically becomes a guessing game if your opponent decides to block him or yeah if your opponent decides to block him it can become a guessing game if you want to keep holding your attack or, or cancel it so that you don't get punished so it's a bit harder to rank this time but I think I'm just going to put it in average because it's still a good move to deal damage and carry your opponents on the other side of the stage um, next we got um, focus attack so once again I'm going to put it in the in the busted tier just because um, you know same reasons as I said for, for Ryu it can do a lot for you you can mix, mix up your attacks start combos with it Get kill confirmed, so you know I really got nothing more to say other than the range is a bit shorter, but I believe he's also um I think it's a little bit stronger. I don't I don't really know, but um yeah, once again there are does do the he does have three different levels of attack and you get armor, so do use it wisely so so like i said you forgot to put shuriken so just pretend to have it strong and then throws um yeah i'm just gonna put all his throws in the bottom once again just because um just because they're bad but i don't think this person included every throw so let me just kind of look through them so um yeah they only have it's the Okay, yeah, this person didn't even put all the throws, so. Good job, good job, mister, but whatever. This is the only tier list I can find, so I didn't feel like making my own, but. Alright, so we are finally done with Ken and Ryu. Um, still won't be the last Shoto character to go over. We still have freaking Terry and ugh, Kazuya, so. Um, but it'll be a while till we get to them, so. Anyways, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, I'm gonna end it here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.